Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am sharing a video on how I make my bangles. There's a few different ways. So first of all, I'm gonna use these cute little charms. Here. If you're interested in any of these charms, you can get them on AliExpress. I have some bangles, I have gold, and I have silver, silver and gold. I use, usually I use um, split rings, but I don't have any on hand. Let me see. This one's just a heavy gauge dump ring. Um... These are the split rings right here. So for the first one, I'm just gonna do gold, this gold one here. These are the heavy gauge jump rings that I have. These are nine millimeters. Then I have these ones here, which you can get online or Hobby Lobby and then you'll need a pair of pliers there are two ways to do this first way I'm going to show you how I do it um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a jump ring actually it makes it a lot easier if you have <clears throat> two pliers so I'm just going to open them opposite sides of each other. Don't open too much because you can break the jump ring. And then I'm going to add um, a charm. Oops. I might have to open it just a little more because um, it's not big enough. Okay. You want to make sure your charm is facing forward. Okay. And these are pretty, pretty hefty. If you have an awl, you can poke a hole in the center of this. I don't have mine with me. So if you have one of these, this is one I made for Halloween for sale, but it never sold. It's perfect to make the holes through. It's like an awl, I guess. Without hurting myself, right? There it is. Okay. I hope I can get that jump ring through there. Let's try it. So I did this off camera thinking I was on camera, but what I did was I added one of the thinner jump rings um, around the crown and then I just added the, uh, the heavy gauge jump ring on it and just added the M&M &M one on there. Okay. This next one, I'm going to do silver. Silver. 
some jump rings and then I'm going to do pink. Yeah, I'm going to do the pink and silver. Okay. So, just like before, I'm using two flat nose pliers. Jump rings have to go into opposite directions. Try not to break the jump ring or make a dent into it. First one, I want to do the heart first. And then make sure your heart is facing forward. There's, oops, there's that. Now, let's say that your jump rings are split rings, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put the jump rings on here and close them. Excuse my nails, I just had to take them off and I didn't get all the color off of it all the way. And now I have to wait to get my nails done because I broke this one. So yeah, there's that. All right, anyway, just put the um, charm in and then just close it on the same way you did before, just opposite. So that one so we got these two so the other way of opening these are by opening making an opening into the actual bangle either this side or this side it doesn't really matter and I like to use um, These, I'm gonna start buying these little by little. They're actually affordable and they're pretty good quality. Xyron uh, needle nose pliers. And I just open this one. I don't know if you can see that out like that. And then I, uh, I, um, that's how I can add the charms in there, right? So let's see how, well, of course I opened the wrong side because <laughs> this is where I put the first one. I needed to open this side, not this side. Okay, so we're gonna close it back up. And I'm just gonna use these ones here. Like I don't wanna mess up my other ones. And then we're just gonna open the other side. Now we're gonna add the charms. So we gotta make sure that they are facing forward, which this one's not, see that? I need to turn it around. Um, let's see if this is correct. Uh, is it correct? Yes, that's the right way. And then we're gonna do the last one. Okay, see that? These turned out really cute. Okay, I'm gonna close it back up. And then I'm gonna use my flat nose pliers to close the bangle. So that's it. Super easy to do. Like you don't have to do one by one and then add it on there. This might take less time just doing it this way. But I love how these turned out. So I'm going to finish up 
the rest of them and I'll get back to you. Okay, so <clears throat> this is how they turned out. Very cute. And this one here. This one's really, really cute. I have these plastic bags that I, um, there's three in here that I had already made. Um, that have been purchased as a Christmas gift. This is where I've been putting them in. These plastic baggies you can get at on AliExpress. I can link it below. But I'm just putting one in each. Or I'm, I guess I'll just show you. Like, this is what they look like because these aren't actually purchased yet. So that's how they would be. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.